What are you doing over there? Reminders? Yeah, me too. Are you afraid your students aren't going to show up? I haven't done any for today yet. <laughs> Barrett's a good businessman. He reminds his students yeah, to, to come in and get their lessons. How many, how many lessons you have today? Let's see. Seven. Wow. So Barrett comes and helps me for half a day. And then he works from like... One to seven. One to seven. <laughs> now see, that's the American spirit, baby. That's it. I taught my son well. As long as I can keep building accounts doing that, I'm happy. <laughs> if I'm working that much and not building anything, I ain't, I ain't working out. So. Well, that's, but, the, that's the way it works though, right? Yeah. But I was, uh, this whole thing, I, I know you I know you haven't kept up with it, Barry, because you're not uh, into the whole gun community thing like I am yeah. on YouTube. But <laughs> I, I watched John Kelly yesterday basically rip uh, that lady uh, representative, a new one, basically describing how he you know he advised Trump on the calls anyway that was very inspiring to me to go listen to this guy who's been in battle and watch people die you know fight and die for our country yeah. who made uh, who made it available who made life available to her to bitch about Trump's phone call to the families and uh, <laughs> can you imagine Hillary calling the uh, uh, the families of Benghazi uh, uh, no. no you can't imagine that because it didn't happen Any, anyway after all that I go last night and I hear Yankee Marshall saying F this guy F this person he was saying F can you imagine this now just imagine somebody actually saying F you uh, Iraq vet 8888 F you Chad F you Tim military arms channel that I can't imagine you see all I could think about was these guys are vets I don't know I don't think Chad is but he could be <laughs> <laughs> I mean these guys volunteered you know I I'm just gonna tell you right now my money is on uh, and that's a that's a bad way to put it it's just an expression but my money is on Eric and Chad and Tim and Mr. Guns and Gear uh, that now there's a this is a long story Barrett but there's just a riff going through the gun community right now about the NRA and I think I personally have I share opinions on both sides like I think the NRA sounds like me huh sounds like me hush boy <laughs> I didn't teach you to be a fence straddler <laughs> there's a difference between being a fence straddler and sharing opinions with different people. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, don't get me off on that tangent. The, <laughs> the point is, is that I think the NRA, NRA has gotten really big, too big in some cases, and not too big. I don't want to say that. I'm just saying they need. there needs to be a shakeup at the NRA. But <laughs> just because... Uh, Chad, Eric and Chad and Tim may have some affiliations with the NRA because they because the NRA went to them and seeking their help uh, as sort of outreach to them reaching out to these people you know Eric Chad and Tim and Mr. Gunn whoever it is 22 Plankster all those guys Such. just because the NRA is reaching out to them does not make them some kind of shill or I, I hate these internet terms we've come up with FUD and cuck and shill and you don't speak to people like that in you know face to face if you have met Eric you've met Eric yeah he's a nice guy a Chad Chad I love those guys I literally love Eric and Chad like they're my brothers now, I know they don't feel the same way about me but you know how it is when you have a main crush on somebody <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's and that's the way you see that's the way the trolls that's the way Yankee Marshall's trolls would uh, would would because uh, most of the people honestly that follow Yankee Marshall and he's the one who's saying f you f you f this most of those guys that follow him are gun loving liberals 
and so they're really, they're kind of trollish, right? So I was in the, in, in in his chat last night. I was saying, "Come on, guys, these are good people. When you meet them, you know they're good people. You see their eye. I I was born with this gift to look at somebody's eyes and hear them speak, and I know their heart. I'm just telling you, sorry, guys, I, and I know the heart of Eric and Chad is good. I sat and talked to Tim." about this whole thing at his shoot and he's literally torn up about it he is tim, tim is is sincerely concerned and this is these are pe people's heartfelt opinions and you can't sit there and say f you about this and f you about that when these people are sincerely concerned you know, so, you know, Tim shares some opinions. You know, I, I, I agree with Tim on a lot of this stuff. Chad and Eric have a, you know, have a different, they're, they're more of a, you know, let's see what happens. Let's, let's hang in there. And I, and they've helped me, honestly. Honestly, I, I, I wanted to say F you to the, to the NRA in the beginning. But when I saw the level headedness and the, of Chad and Eric, I was like, you know what? This is the kind of leadership in the gun community that we need in at the NRA. You know, we need people like Eric and Chad saying, look, we can make this better. We can change this. We are, you know, we're the members, you know. We can change. I don't, honestly, I have my doubts about whether it can be changed or not. But I, I know it, I, I have those doubts, but I know it can be, right? You, you have doubts catch yourself doubting and then you catch yourself and say oh I was doubting we need to fix that right I mean so I'm just gonna tell you the there's a lot of pettiness going on in the in the YouTube gun community and a lot of it is just the silly name calling that you would do it's just like <laughs> people who call James and arms get tired uh, people who call James Jaeger names you know I James Yeager in, invited me into his home for a Christmas dinner. He, you know, he graciously signed the cricket so we could raise money to, just like all these other guys did, Eric, Tim, Chad, Kyle Flader Mounts, can't forget our Western buddies, out West buddies. All these guys know, you know, that certain people have really put their lives out there for the second amendment and that's all vets so yeah anybody and, and you can say james jager is not a, a vet but he, in my book he's he's earned the right to say he has fought you know for freedom screw it i'm just going to say it you know and i know regular army you know whatever's probably going to not like that but you know he put himself there he didn't have to you know so I I'm gonna I always I always give the benefit of the doubt to anybody who I who is a is a brave you know a brave person you know that and who has done done things extraordinary let's just call them extraordinary men while a lot of these keyboard warriors you know <laughs> consider themselves you know a great man if they get 10 kills in a row on Call of Duty, uh, we're talking about guys who are really, who fucking done something. Yeah. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have cussed, but it just brings me to that. When I see this bull crap on, you know, these people sitting around behind their keyboards bashing people for these people doing the best they can to do what they think is right. You know, I've always told you this, Barrett, have I not? This is my beef about fence straddlers, right? If there's somebody that truly believes in their heart that, you know, communism and socialism is the thing, I, I got more respect for them than for people who just sit on their ass, you know, especially if these are people who are out, see, uh, you know, fighting our government. <laughs> you know, if they're, I, I honestly, I know that sounds strange, but anybody who's literally heart, has a heartfelt opinion about something, I respect them more than these people who just sit around and bash everybody for no reason. Does that make sense? Sure. And there's a lot of that going on in the gun community. And, uh, and I'll, uh, you know, 
So, anyway, I just want all my YouTube brothers who I who I respect, gun, you know, gun websites. Sorry, I almost said your real name. Uh, gun websites, uh, Eric, Chad, uh, Tim. Who am I leaving out? Who, who are the vets I'm leaving out? If I'm leaving out any vets here in the gun community, I love you, brothers, and uh, I don't, uh, your, my money's on you, okay? And all this other crap is just minutia. The NRA stuff really is just minutia anyway. That's all it is. Because at the end of the day, the NRA doesn't doesn't run our country. They don't. They really don't. They really don't have any effect on my life. You know, these guys that I'm talking about have an effect on my life because I know if the crap hits the fan, I know what they're going to be doing. They're going to be out there, you know, fighting for freedom. So. Uh, yeah. Have I preached enough? Rock and roll. Thank you, Barry. <laughs>